push the people down low, get down and obey every word. Steady getting mine if you haven't yet heard. Wanna take what I got, don't be absurd. Don't fight the power, nobody gets hurt. If you haven't heard yet, then I'm letting you know there ain't shit. We don't run when the guns unload. And no one make a move, cause my people say so. Got everything out of control, now everybody go.
point for the Operation Football regular season, and of course, more bad weather. Tonight reminded me of an old Eddie Rabbit song, I Love a Rainy Night. And I know that 12 Sports Director Dan Needles remembers that song very well since he was just a high schooler when that song topped the charts back in 1980. Dan, what do you have for us? Our monster matchup in Brookfield. I believe that was our homecoming theme in 1980, <laughs> Andy. Yes, it was a rainy night. It's dry now, but on a wet night like this, uh, certainly run-oriented teams have an advantage and that was the case here tonight at Brookfield East. The Spartans attempted only two passes the entire game. They didn't complete either one and yet they still dominated their arch rivals from Brookfield Central. Now this was homecoming for Brookfield East. An appropriate band for the dance I guess would be Puddle of Mud. Yes it was muddy. Central actually scored on the opening possession of the game, but East needed just three plays to answer back. That's Brandon White, 49-yard TD run, 14 to six Spartans at halftime. White ran for two scores out of the old double wing. So did teammate John Bach. This is one of them, 57 yards down the sideline, midway through the third quarter, put the game on ice. East beat Central 28 to 13, sweet revenge after losing twice to Central last year. Yeah, last year they beat us for uh, they beat us twice, once for the conference championship and once for the knock us out of the playoffs. And uh, revenge is sweet. <laughs> Came out here, we knew we had to get it done. We haven't won a homecoming since I think 1998. We got it. It's a big deal. It's a crosstown rival, you know, and then winning on homecoming. I just feel so great for these seniors because now they can finally have a fun Saturday night. Brookfield East is ranked seventh in our latest Operation Football poll. They're now 5-0, and oh, but they still have two crucial conference games coming up, both at home against unbeaten Marquette and against unbeaten Menominee Falls in back-to-back -back weeks. Reporting live from Brookfield East High School, Dan Needles, WISN 12 Sports. Andy? All right, thank you very much, Dan. From the Battle of Brookfield to the Battle of Racine.